Hi there. So good to be back with you. We're going to start today with one called Grandma's Glasses. So get out your little bitty grandma glasses and your little bitty grandma voice. These are Grandma's Glasses. And this is Grandma's Hat. <clears throat> And this is the way she folds her hands and lays them in her lap. Now get out your great big grandpa glasses and your great big grandpa voice and say, These are grandpa's glasses. And this is grandpa's hat. And this is the way he folds his arms just like that. These are Grandma's glasses. And this is Grandma's hat. And this is the way she folds her hands and lays them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, and this is Grandpa's hat, and this is the way he folds his arms, just like that. Alright, we're going to be squirrels, so get your squirrel toes ready. Swish your tail back and forth. We're going to be swishing our tail. you got to use your imagination that your tail is swishing around behind you. Are you ready? Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose. Hold a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Good job. <clears throat> On this one, we're going to be making our voice high and low. So listen. Kitty cat, kitty cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Kitty cat, kitty cat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under the chair. Kitty cat, kitty cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Kitty cat, kitty cat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under the chair. Good job. So this one's a circle game. And if you have more than two people, that'd be great. But if you just have you and your kid, you can make this work too. It doesn't have to be exactly a circle on this one. One of the reasons I'm picking it. It's called Old Bald Eagle. So you can pick yourself or you can pick your child to do this and you can sing for them. And what's going to happen is the person who's the bald eagle is going to sail around while everybody watches them. And they get to sail around the people and go in and out any way they want. And this is the song that goes with it. Old bald eagle sails around, daylight is gone. Old bald eagle sails around, daylight is gone. And the person who's the bald eagle would touch somebody. And now we have two bald eagles and that person's going to follow the first bald eagle, which would be great. Maybe the parent starts being the bald eagle and then the kids follow. Or once you've done this a few times, have the kids start. So much fun. And if you have older kids, get them involved too. They should have fun with this. So then when it's more, it's two. Two bald eagles sail around. Daylight is gone. Two bald eagles sail around, daylight is gone. Three bald eagles sail around, daylight is gone. Three bald eagles sail around, daylight is gone. And you just keep going until everybody's doing it. And then if you want to, start over. 
with a new bald eagle being the first one. So for this one, it's called a call and response, which is kind of like a fill in the blank song. I will sing stuff and then I want you to answer with the same thing every single time, okay? The thing you're gonna answer with is Rocky. Now, if you wanna do this at home and you don't have a hand crocheted microphone that is probably older than you are, folks, even if you're a parent, uh, that's okay. Hairbrushes, toy microphones, um, drumsticks, uh, pencils, pens, almost anything can be a microphone is a great thing. And mine isn't real, so yours doesn't have to be real either, okay? So find something you like and that you and your kid know is your microphone. So your job on this one is every time I point my microphone at you, you're gonna say, Rocky, 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 Rocky. Now, the tricky part of this is I'm not going to sing Rocky before you sing Rocky. I'm going to sing other stuff, and you're always going to sing Rocky. No matter what I sing, you always sing Rocky. Does that make sense? Rocky. Good job. Rocky. Okay, now I get it. Rocky. I'll start the song then. Rocky. Green, green. Rocky. Promenade in green, Rocky. Tell me who you love, Rocky. Tell me inside out, Rocky. Tell me upside down, Rocky. All around the block, Rocky. All around the town, Rocky. Green, green, Rocky. Promenade in green, Rocky. Tell me who you love, Rocky. Tell me inside out, Rocky. Tell me upside down, Rocky. All around the block, Rocky. All around the town, Rocky. Good job. You can stop singing, Rocky. Good job. Are you ready to have a little dance party? This is a special dance party. Make sure you have room to dance. And then I'm going to play on the ukulele. While I'm playing on the ukulele, please move in any way you like, any dance moves you can think of, anything, even if it's totally silly. If you have enough room, you can even do somersaults or front rolls, however you say that. Old school people say somersaults. New people who've been like to gym classes say front rolls. I don't know. Whatever you like is fine. So anyway, I'm going to play. As soon as I'm playing, you dance. If my music stops, you stop too. All right, let's give it a try. a stuffy or a baby doll or a Barbie doll or any kind of doll or stuffy or lovey you have that has a foot. You can pause here and go grab one and come back. Okay, that was enough of that. Okay, so anyway, you or your child is going to take the foot of your lovey. You're going to hug them and love them, but you're going to have your foot and you're going to tap. Why are you tapping? Because we're going to be the cobbler fixing their shoe. So gently, you don't have to tap hard. And I'll sing. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done at half past two. Toora loora loo. Half past two is much too late. Have it done at half past eight. 
Tura Lura Lu. We gotta fix the other shoe now. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done at half past two. Tura Lura Lu. Half past two is much too late. Have it done at half past eight. Tura Lura Lu. If you want to keep going, you can fix mittens. Or if you have a spider, ooh, that'd be perfect. You could just keep going forever almost. All right, we're going to try and move our hands around our body to some music. It's Mozart. You've probably heard it a gazillion times. Don't worry about all that. It's just fun and lively music that we're going for. Start here. <laughs> March in place. Tap your knees. March in place. The next one is just a simple song to sing. When your two and three year old is singing at first, if it's not just like what I sound like or you sound like, that's okay. As long as they're trying to move their voice around and have some fun with it, that's what we're going for. And I guess today is Squirrel Day because I got another squirrel song for you. This one's called Peep Squirrel. Peep Squirrel, Peep Squirrel, do I diddle em, do I diddle em. Peep squirrel, peep squirrel, dodi deedlum dum. So those are dodi deedlums and dodi deedlum dums. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It's nonsense syllables. They don't have to be perfect. I'll do it again though. Peep squirrel, peep squirrel, dodi deedlum, dodi deedlum. Peep squirrel, peep squirrel, do I diddle um dum. Our song for listening today is called The Little Black Bull. Hope you enjoy it. The little black bull came down the meadow. Who's in Johnny? Who's in Johnny? The little black bull came down the meadow. First he pawed and then he bellowed, who's in Johnny, who's in Johnny? First he pawed and then he bellowed, long time ago, long time ago, long time ago. First he pawed and then he bellowed, long time ago. He wet his horn on a white oak sapling, Who's in Johnny? Who's in Johnny? He wet his horn on a white oak sapling long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. He wet his horn on a white oak sapling long time ago. He shook his tail and 
jarred the meadow. Who's in Johnny? Who's in Johnny? He shook his tail and jarred the meadow long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. He shook his tail and jarred the meadow long time ago. He pawed the dirt in the heifers' faces. Who's in Johnny? Who's in Johnny? He pawed the dirt in the heifers' faces long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. He pawed the dirt in the heifers' faces long time ago. Then he winked at the little red heifer. Who's in Johnny? Who's in Johnny? Then he winked at the little